What's up guys, it has been a minute. I missed you the last couple of weeks. I was out for Mother's Day and then I was on the road for work and wasn't able to make a video. So it's been a couple of weeks since I got one of these videos out and I apologize for that, but I'm gonna get back to it. I'm not making any promises because every time I say, I'm going daily, I'm going this, I never do it. So I'm just gonna keep making videos and I hope that you guys enjoy them. And today I have something a little bit different for you. Uh, I know that you guys know me as a FPV guy, but my when I got into RC as a hobby, I started out on some something more like this. That's right. One of my first builds that I FPV'd was some flight test wings. And then one of the first things that I put a flight controller in was actually a flight test blunt nosed Versa. I actually had a Naze 32 running this fork of base flight that was designed for uh, fixed wing aircraft. It was like some crazy janky stuff, but it worked and it was really impressive. And so Recently, I've been interested in getting back into some of the fixed wing stuff, and I picked up this guy. This is the Adam RC Dolphin. And on this guy, I'm actually running iNav on a Matek H743. This is only the, well, I'm hoping this will be the second successful flight. Had a couple of issues with the powertrain that I had selected for it, uh, and a couple of early on failures, but I, I wanted to make a little bit of content about my journey back into fixed wing. And uh, I'm really happy with the way that it flies. I've only done one test flight, which half of it I flew in manual mode. Uh, and today what I wanna do is I'm gonna test out the auto launch feature. I'm going to use the auto trim feature. And then I am going to use the auto tune feature in order to get this thing flying as good as it could. And if all of that goes well, the next few flights I'm gonna do are gonna be focused on trying out some uh, waypoint navigation stuff with this guy. So I hope that you find this video interesting and fun and uh, let's just go put this guy up into the air and we'll talk about it as we go. All right, for this first flight, I'm gonna be launching it in auto launch mode and then we'll be taking over and flying in acro mode. Acro mode for iNav on a fixed wing is a lot like acro mode in a multi-rotor on a beta flight. You're basically controlling the rate of change on all of the axes along with your uh, thrust. So without any further ado, let's just launch this thing and we'll talk about it as we go. Right. And we're off and up into the races. Okay, let me get back in frame here. Oh, sweet. That's nice. Oh my gosh, that sunset. So we're going to be using DJI uh, video from the air unit uh, for all of this. Wow. That sunset is stunning. This is the nicest thing about flying a fixed wing. I can take my hands off of the controls. It's just up there doing its thing, especially when you have the help of a flight controller. Now, the last flight that I did, I actually burnt out the motor and I haven't changed the powertrain a ton. It should be a little bit better on the thermal cooling and it's a slightly lower KV motor, so I'm not, crazy worried about it but i don't want to hang out over this lake so i'm just going to uh set it to where what i think ought to be about a decent cruise and i'm going to flip our switch that ought to enable auto trim all right now the way auto trim works is it takes an average over a couple of seconds of the trim it, that is required in order to hold it nice and level okay Now, in order to save this, you actually have to disarm the aircraft. Now, I've never seen anybody. I've never seen anybody do it this way, but I'm gonna just go ahead and try to disarm the aircraft in flight in order to save that auto trim. All right, here we go. Disarm. Huh. Okay, so if you disarm mid-flight, you cannot rearm. Lesson learned on INAV. Should be just fine. 
I'm gonna have to go and get it. We'll try another launch after having done our auto trim and see how those trims are holding up for us. After the first flight, the auto trim has worked and I should have a much better trim for this subsequent flight. We will try it out in manual mode in just a minute. Auto launch works so well. I'm going to just stick with it. I feel confident in my settings with auto launch now and I want to just uh, keep on getting more and more used to this. I'll talk at the end a little bit about the settings that I am using and why I chose those. Uh, but let's, let's go give it a second launch and we will enable auto tune during this flight. Okay, so... That is auto launch mode. This is armed. Give it some throttle. And then and we're off to the races. And let's get in the frame. That's beautiful. All right, let's go ahead and put it in manual mode. And at that throttle setting, yeah, I would say that trim is holding really well. All right. So the auto trim function has worked out for us. I'm going to go back to acro just because I find it more enjoyable. And let's enable auto tune. Now it should still, it should feel pretty sloppy for me as I initially give it like these full deflection <laughs> I hear that thing out there ooh yeah the longer you fly in this auto tune mode the snappier it should get and that is what I am seeing. Give us a little flyby. This thing, this thing is pretty slick. I am liking it. Do I try my luck with something dumb? I don't think I'm going to. I have a lot more things that I want to try with flight control software. So I'm not going to try anything stupid with like a bunch of uh, proximity. Uh, I'm just going to kind of fly it around and enjoy myself. I can't hesitate. I can't like, I can't fight the urge to get low though. <laughs> I just want to do it. I want to see what I can see. Maybe we can go find the girls and buzz them. What's beeping? I think my goggles oh i forgot to start the stick cam oh well the one thing with the flying wing i always find myself doing is i'm always trying to give it yaw inputs and it takes me a second to remember that, oh yeah this is a wing i have no i have no yaw authority where are you guys at I wonder if I can do a split S with this guy. Battery 50%. Yeah, I wasn't sure how much room I would need to pull out of it. Oh, I see the girls. They're down by the table. <laughs> it flies pretty dang good now. It's filling locked in. I wonder what happens if I put it... Uh, I don't want to mess with any of the position modes while I am doing this auto-tune. So I'm just going to fly it as is. I'm just going to put it in this grass here. Perfect. Okay, flight number two was good. All right, we do not want to pl pull the power. Before you disconnect power on an auto tr uh, tune flight, you need to push both sticks down and out. And that should have saved my settings and we're good to go. So we'll do one more launch, put it in a navigation waypoint hold mode and see how it does. 
Okay, so we've done an auto trim and an auto tune. I wanna make sure that it's working well with the just position hold. So I'm going to put it in loiter mode and see how it handles. Uh, so far, I'm really happy with how the wing's flying and you know, blah, 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 blah. So, <laughs> so uh, let's go check it out. Here we go, one more launch. All right, we're in auto launch mode. I gotta switch controller hands. A long time. <laughs> A long time ago, I used to always arm with my right hand so that I could do these types of launches, and I moved it over to the left hand with the multi-rotors. I may have to think about doing a different finger for arming on my fixed wing platforms. All right, start the stick cam, rolling. Okay. Oh. There we go. Man, auto launch is so freaking awesome. I wish I had this when I first started. That makes, that makes launching a wing so much better. Auto launch, oh my God. Okay. Flying into the sunset. Let's go cruise over this lake. I feel like the wind's picking up a little bit. Feeling a little bit more confident that I'm not gonna burn up the motor. I also switch back to the by blade now that I'm doing auto launch and not uh, trying to get it airborne with uh, by hand. Dude, okay. So let's just climb up to altitude and put her in position hold. So. Position hold, altitude hold, active. And we're in loiter. Battery 80%. Uh, there's my altitude. It's holding about 300 feet. Nice and steady. Got a little bit low, climbing back up. I mean, it's doing exactly what you want the drone, uh, a fixed wing to do in position hold. So <laughs> I would say that this is a win, guys. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about fixed wing FPV. I'm gonna be making some more videos about this guy. Uh, some of my experiments, it's just, it's right there. It's just going, it's just hanging out, flying the track. I love this thing. Oh my God. I've forgotten how much I like flying fixed wing FPV. Let me know if you guys like flying fixed wing FPV and we will catch you guys next week.